What's up friends of the good mood, this is Manny and welcome to a new video. This is what you're going to be seeing over the course of this video ladies and gentlemen. 9 million damage, 23 kills in beacon rush and 4 beacons capped. If that's not a team carry, then I don't know what is ladies and gentlemen. We're on my account right here, so let's get this show on the road and show you how I did all that. But first, this is Mech Arena today's sponsor and a new tactical 5v5 shooter with awesome mechs, weapons, hundreds of skins and the perfect maps to battle in. Use my link down below to download the game for your mobile Android and iOS devices. Take a look at what happened to me here. I got destroyed by those javelin missiles from the enemy and I thought to myself, enough! I want those weapons too. So let me show you how I swap my MD robot for something more powerful, the Paragon, with the higher energy capacity that allows me to carry two javelin rockets at the same time. So now it's time for revenge. Let's go and wipe the floor with some robots. You can see here how the weapon locks onto the enemy through walls and launches a deadly salvo that deals a ton of damage all at once. And of course I have a long reload in between, but the fact that you don't need to show yourself to deal massive damage to the enemy is pretty amazing amazing and now I also have them too. By the way, this month Mech Arena has, aside from two brand new maps to play on, the first ever battle pass. It includes a lot of important resources and skins and weapons to play with and remember Mech Arena is a completely free to play game for Android and iOS. Use my link down here to kickstart your game with the Steel Reaper skin, 500 A coins, 70,000 credits. So what are you waiting for? Find me on the battlefield with the ID shown here and the name Just The Money. Alright, so we're back in the ring, ladies and gents. It's about to happen. I'm killing some Orochis and some Shells and some Titans as well. We're starting off with this one Orochi right there trying to capture the beacon. I'm jumping onto the beacon with him to make sure he's not going to get it. He would have gotten it if I hadn't jumped on there. And now I'm teleporting back because... Oh, wait a minute. I didn't. I actually remained here. That's interesting. Okay, I thought I, thought te I te teleported back at this point. But apparently I didn't want to give him the beacon and it seemed to have been the right decision because I ended up getting the guy destroyed really quickly with those Havocs and Scatters. Super powerful assassin weapons for that scorpion. And it allows me to just snack things that are otherwise insanely hard to kill really, really quickly. And um, yeah. It's really my favorite Falc uh, scorpion right now. Although of course I also like Igniter and Blaze. I like that a lot because it's super powerful as well and it, it counters shell robots so easily. Uh, he just hit me with his explosion pretty hard but that doesn't mean I can't take him down right here. Boom. Now there's a lot of stuff coming for the center beacon and if there's one thing I really don't want the enemy to get then it's my center beacon that I have defended and captured and done so well to have it for my team. So it's not going to happen. We're jumping back into the one and only instant killer for shell robots and some other things. Well, at, le at least once I gotten the shield done, then I can kill those things so fast. But now I have this problem called Fafnirs. There's two of them in the air and they have, uh, at least one of them is now absolutely on me. At least thankfully it's not both. If that would have been both of them, man, I would be destroyed so quickly here. But thankfully it's just one. And I thought I might be able to get him, but of course he's just using that 200 meters range of my minimum weapon, my, my minimum weapon range or max weapon range against me here by staying out of it. But that's okay, I'm just gonna go and capture this beacon here. I'm just gonna win the match in the meantime, right? Let him, let him fly around and do whatever he wants to. If he wants to stop me from getting this beacon, he's gonna have to come right here and he's gonna have to expose himself to my 200 meter range weapons, which is going to get him killed. And he's not gonna do that, he's gonna fly somewhere else. Uh, another Fafnir just spawned in. Uh, I guess we're gonna just do our best to kill him. Hold on, two, one, bam, 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 bam. And that's it. The entire Fafnir got completely deleted. I know I don't need to shoot him because this guy with his Revenant just teleported onto me, which means every damage I do right now, he's going to be able to recharge it anyways. So I'm just gonna wait it out for a few seconds, bring up a battleship shield to protect me, and then I go and kill him when I know he's not going to get any uh, diminishing return HP thingy back. What do you even call this? The, uh, the thing where he gets the HP simply back, right? We're already at Beyond God, like we're killing things left and right. That Fafnir is now forced into a flight and uh, another Fafnir just landed out over there. I saw him and I'm going to go for him. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Boom, boom. Wait, am I not in range? Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, I got him now. 
Living legend. Nice. What is that? Boom, a hawk. Living legend. Yeah. And there is a hawk going to land really soon. This guy immediately opened his shield. I don't care. I'm finishing off the hawk here. Not leaving, leaving him any time to regenerate another flight ability. And that's the moment I got my own titan. I have already hard carried this match so insanely well. It's completely insane. We're jumping on this guy, suppressing this dude down there. Although I guess he does have the anti-control. Now he's face shifting. I'm going to stay within as close as I can because this way I can drop his, him through his last stand. And uh, then we're going to get a shield here. And then activating the reflector right after. An enemy Arthur Titan is on us. Let's see how well we can do against him. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, there has been a Muhammad spawn. A Muhammad's just spawned in. Unfortunately, my reflector isn't running. Uh, but if I stay close to him, he can't really aim at me. You saw that. For a little while, he was aiming at something else because I was too close underneath him. Um, now my reflector is back, but it turns out that now I don't actually need the reflector anymore. Although the reflector does give you health back, so it's a healing, right? The reflector also has a healing combined at the end of it, so it's actually really useful to go and use the reflector, um, even if you're not in combat. But in this situation right here, I'm just going to delete those guys and keep the reflector ready for when this happens. Boom. Now we have an enemy um, uh, enemy Revenant coming in. And this just shows how broken Revenants can be. Let me just show this to you. I'm doing a ridiculous amount of damage with those fully maxed Titan weapons. Look. But he teleported here, so his ability was active. Therefore, he regains an instant health back back to 100%. 100% HP gain back to 100% and then we're going to do some more damage here and he's going to have another instant HP charge up uh, which I don't know where it comes from I thought you can only have the uh, drone instant heal back here he had it again look look at his health and then bop look at this boots another 20% HP charge up now he's taking a tremendous amount of damage then he gets the another ex next ability I'm getting in almost destroyed and then look at this, boom! Another 60% HP recharge, instantly. Uh, so how often has this drone now recharged its health? Is is absolutely crazy. Of course, if I've had full HP and uh, not, I was low on health and I had another Titan behind me, otherwise this Revenant wouldn't have been a problem, but uh, it just shows how much HP they gain back when they utilize all this overpowered drone nonsense that you can put in with those insane insta back boosts that you keep getting left and right and everywhere. Um, let me just finish off this guy real quick with his... Um, no, no, Minos. Yeah, it was a Minos. We're capturing this be beacon here as well. And there's a Hawk now. And that's a bit of a problem because he got bypasses my resistance, but I'm getting myself a shield from the battleship in orbit that's right uh so now i was pretty much invincible to his damage but i'm getting hit by an, an orbital strike from somebody now we have an enemy titan coming in but i first focus although i'm down to low health now i started my repair and we're gonna kill whatever this is really fast there it is the titan mugumets comes in jumping in no it's not the mugumets the luchador comes jumping in on me and i wait for him to start firing and that's when i deploy my shield so that i block damage with the shield i stop firing at him because he's got the reflector running but after the reflector it's death time for him pretty much instantly look how fast i drop this guy seriously man that sniper titan shooting him do it does like 10 percent the damage i do against him there i delete this titan so fast with this super powered overcharged mega fafnir uh that in my opinion really requires a big nerf uh same as the same uh, same as the revenants with the drone those drone things that make the revenant recharge his hp five times to 100 percent is just beyond broken at this point um, someone is still left in the game. He wants to capture our beacon. And the um, Orochi with a legendary pilot getting a third ability stealth is also broken. There's a few things that really need to be done. Uh, but uh, yeah, in this video, I don't want to focus on that. I want to focus on doing 9 million damage, 23 kills, and 4 beacons capped. Boom! Yeah? Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, let's jump into another match where I was really able to define the outcome of the match very well. And by the way, if you haven't yet seen it, ladies and gents, we also have a giveaway right now on the channel um, that you might want to check out. It's on the recent videos, right? It's uh, 
uh, just go ahead and check out one of the recent videos. There's a giveaway that, in case you haven't yet participated, you might want to consider doing, doing that. So we're back on Springfield now, a sniper map, and we have 200 meters range. This doesn't sound like a good idea, but in this case, I can make it work because i already gotten this far. And my my goal is to kill that leech. His leech ability has just been activated, so I can kill him. No, wait a minute. Now he activated it. Ah, that's right. And now I'm just walking through all those enemies and uh, getting right on the beacon. There's three enemies around me, just so you know, right? I'm walking on the beacon, killing the leech after his leech ability is gone. Now we're destroying a Fafnir really quickly. Uh, or no, let's first disable this uh, this sniper prisma setup. I'm capturing the beacon even though they respawned. Now it's four enemies actually. I already gotten two of them killed. There's two more right around me here. And I'm capturing the beacon at the same time while these champs are on it uh, and trying to prevent it. And now I got it. Boom! I was able to grab the beacon away from four enemies basically. Uh, it was three players and one of them respawned. And now we have the ability to just get this guy out of the way, and then, boom, get this guy out of the way, too. Boots! That's the Ravana, Ravana for you guys. The Ravana was able to do all that. Even though the Ravana only had 200 meters range on a sniper map, and already was at like 50% health when I began this, right? So, man, I just love that thing. There's gonna be another video coming up where I play free for all with the Ravana, so, guys, you're gonna want to see that. I'm, I'm telling you, it's gonna be a good video. So, we have an enemy falcon jumping in. He thought it was a good idea to jump in and attack me from the side. But of course, it's not a good idea when I'm able to just delete the dude real quick with the luchador. Yes, luchador. Oh man, let's uh, get this Ravana out of the way. Okay, I probably won't make it out of this explosion, but Titans don't, don't really take too much damage from the battleship. Can I help my friend over there? Let's see, because he's attacking the beacon, and I, if there's one thing I want to do is I want to keep the beacon I earned before. So there we go. That was a useful, useful thing to do. I could now jump on this guy. Am I going to do it? No, I'm not, because I expected some enemy Titans to spawn in, and that happened just now. Jumping on this guy. Okay, now we're giving a target switch over to this dude. Two enemy Auchuns. And I'm deploying my resistance now. Whoop, there goes one of them. Ao Mings. Sorry, it's Ao Mings, not Ao Chuns. I messed, uh, messed it up a little. Now I want to get back in cover because there's still this other guy. Uh, this other Ming is still left. And we have that guy too. Um, let's see. I think I first try and take on the, the Ravana because he's closer to me. Um... And I should probably use my reflector because I get a massive health gain when I do or after I do. I somehow always forget to use reflector as a means of health. But I did get my health back from the uh, battleship too. The battleship support also uh, increases my health. And now you see I'm using the reflector against the Fafnir uh, Fenrir here. And after the reflector runs out, I also get some HP regenerated. It's not much, but it's something you at least you notice that, right? It's a bit of extra health you get. So, we have a Typhon right there. And I'm getting myself another shield and another HP recharge from the battleship above. I'm getting myself almost to 700,000 HP again. Which is just crazy. Here's the enemy um, uh, thing trying to get me killed. He wanted to activate another ability charge, but that didn't work. And now you see what I'm doing to these poor guys with their, with their titans here. And boom! Activating the reflector now, boop, and activating the battleship for some increased health and support. Unfortunately, though, my reflector is going to run out eventually, and this guy had a 100% fresh Ao, Ao Ming spawned in. But I was almost able to kill him, and that thing was definitely level 150. I can tell you this much, because this... He took... He didn't really took as much damage as I expected him to take. And this guy should have stopped firing. My goodness, did he amplify my weapons just then. Did you see that? He kept firing into that purple absorber shield and he amplified my weapon so much that I will now basically... The match is over, but if the match wasn't over, I could basically instant kill anything now. Uh, another thing that really is broken about the Fafnir. But yeah, so another 6 million damage, 14 kills, 7 beacons capped. And uh, very important beacons on the outer edges of the map where normally it's very hard to get to. That Ravana did the trick. And yeah, I think this uh, has been a good video so far. Hopefully you guys uh, had some fun watching. Also, thanks for Macarena for sponsoring this video. And uh, we'll see each other in the next video, ladies and gents. Have a good one. Manny signing off. Bye-bye.